weekly creative update. Hello, 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 and welcome to the show. Welcome to today's episode of Weekly Creative Update. And you tuned in to your favorite YouTuber, hopefully. Uh, I don't know, but hopefully you did. Uh, so welcome, welcome very much to the show. It is Sunday, and on Sundays we gather around. We sit down and we watch the classical VCU video. Coming at you, coming at you, really soft and hard at the same time. Uh, but here I am, uh, and you might ask, what is this dude talking about? Who is this guy? What is he doing? Uh, my name is Carl, and I'm an artist, and here on YouTube, I I char share, uh, share my artistic journey here. Uh, I share my process, what I learned, what I've been doing. Uh, the last week and so on and what I'm working on uh, so welcome very much if you're new to the show I'm just gonna check microphone is on that's good that's good news so I can keep talking uh, but I have prepared this little note uh, that I always do the classical pink post-it note but today it's the first time I've been writing been writing here on both sides. That is because this is a fully spec'd, uh, spec'd uh, show. I have a lot to talk about. Uh, so this might be a long one. Some of you like it, some of you don't like it. But uh, I'm just gonna see, I'm just gonna talk and see where it leads because uh, I'm loving this moment. I'm loving this moment with, uh, with you guys here and just to, to sit, sit here and chat. Uh, but let's get to the elephant in the room. You have probably been saying to yourself, Oh, what is Carl wearing? What does he have on his head? It's a little hat that I designed myself. Uh, I'm, I'm going with the blue theme today. Uh, so uh, I thought it was uh, nice to, to, to pair it with this little hat that I designed. But I didn't make it. Uh, that was actually my girlfriend, Olivia. She made it. Uh, I designed it. Uh, so uh, shout out to her. Uh, I'm gonna link to her Instagram and stuff in the in the bio. She does all sorts of uh, crazy stuff, uh, crazy and fun, cool stuff there. So uh, I think I will try to introduce this. I think I will be having a monthly hat, a monthly little hat. Uh, or not hat, but uh, something to wear on my ha head that I'm gonna design. So this is probably gonna be the the February the February hat, and then uh, for next month March I will have another hat. So that uh, that's pretty exciting. But uh, a little long introduction there. But let's get into what I am working on right now. And you know I'm repeating myself, and I'm doing that for myself. But this week or what currently is in the in the pipeline is uh, Sorbet Dreams, an exhibition in Copenhagen uh, starting up now on uh, Thursday, uh, Venissage. Uh, so if you are in the neighborhood, if you're close to Copenhagen, uh, you should come. I'm gonna... Here's the poster uh, and uh, I'm gonna also be linking it in a community chat later on here. Uh, on YouTube, so you, if you want to come, you're so very welcome to do that. But uh, Sorbet Dreams, and then I'm working on uh, another exhibition in Lund coming up. I've, the sketch name is um, Super Secret Seeds, and then I'm working on uh, I Carry Berries, another exhibition coming up uh, uh, close to Umeå in Sweden, and then I'm also working on this public sketch mission. Uh, so a lot in the pipeline going on. But this last week, I have been focused on Sorbia Dreams and getting uh, the final touches done. I, uh, I've been uh, fixing this textile piece and I've been uh, trying to paint some stuff that I hadn't... Uh, that I, had, uh, I, I had some stuff to paint, so I painted that. Uh, so uh, a lot of small fixes there, but... Uh, so me and my friend Jacob, we were over yesterday. Uh, took over the things here from Malmö, where I live in Sweden, took the train over the bridge and went there and put up the exhibition. And uh, because all of you are so nice, 
I'm going to give you a sneak peek. I'm, I took some pictures with my phone, not the best uh, pictures, and this was uh, late last night, maybe 10 o'clock or something, so so the, so the it was a bit dark, but uh, uh, I, I'm going to show you these pictures now. Uh, and I'm pretty pleased with the results. I'm really glad uh, everything uh, got... The, Everything's done now, uh, almost for for the opening. So everything's put up, and uh, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good, a bit relaxed. Um, some weight off my shoulders. Been a bit stressed out, and I'm trying to not be stressed out. But uh, sometimes you you just get stressed out. There's a lot of things going on. But now that it, that is set up, and it's really nice. Uh, big thanks to Jacob. We also filmed a little bit when we when we put it up. So there's going to be a little video out maybe in the coming week here when we put put the exhibition up. But I'm I'm pleased with it, and uh, hopefully you got an okay look at the exhibition. But uh, if you didn't, you will be getting a little video later, and I'm gonna go there and take some nice photos. Let's see here, let's see here. I can't remember anything. I'm not a computer. Uh, okay, but this exhibition is done, but I'm gonna be doing some, some crazy things. Not crazy things, but some fun things. Uh, I want to... Uh, I want to have a nice little outfit for the show. So I'm gonna take this pink shirt uh, and I'm actually gonna be printing on some first I'm gonna bleach put half the shirt into bleach and make it white so it's gonna be white then pink and then on the white white part I'm gonna uh, print I'm gonna block print um, some red red uh, berry flowers here uh, all the way around which is gonna be nice a nice little uh, going uh, going along with them um, going along with the whole exhibition theme there pink and red uh, so it would be like a total artwork i will be involved in the artwork with my clothing in some sort of way which will uh, which will be fun and i'm also going to be be printing up some small posters on a4s with this one uh, some red flowers and i'm probably going to do 30, 20 to 30 of those so if you're interested in that uh, just write write me or comment here if you want to reserve a little little poster for Sorbia Dreams coming up here. So uh, so that is what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna also wait here. Everything is not prepared. We go doing it on the fly as I always do. But this is a little little um, little sheet here that I had. Um, for another, um, let's see. Maybe you didn't got the best look, but this is uh, a lot of drawings I had at one exhibition. And now I'm going to do some new ones. I'm going to, uh, going to pimp this up with some pink and, uh, uh going with the exhibition theme here. Uh, and I'm also gonna do some ink drawings in red to have there and sell at the, the exhibition as well. Uh, some smaller pieces which uh, which allows everyone to buy if they want to to buy a little small piece. So uh, some small A4 prints with this one is coming in there and some red ink drawings or paintings or what you will call it uh, will going into that little, little folder there uh, for people to buy. Um, which will be nice, which will, uh, which I will be making now this week coming up here. So that was enough with the uh, with the talk about the exhibition coming up in Copenhagen, uh, and uh, I am also preparing a little new show, a little four episode show uh, for the the exhibition coming up in Lund. I'm keen to starting on that one. It's going to be involving mostly paintings, and uh, I'm really getting into this uh, floor floor sculptures uh, now that I made uh, for Sorbet Dreams, the big p uh, pink one on the floor, the big giant berry, uh, and I want to, to more do more, more stuff of that. Uh, so I'm gonna be making a little small series for Super Secret Seeds, uh, the exhibition in Lund, as I said, uh, and I'm gonna just show my whole process there. I'm gonna start the w this week now uh, on Monday, and I'm gonna try to, to to, to show it all the way. I don't know anything I want to do, but I, I, I've been there and I've been seeing the room, so I will be, be sketching up some artworks for that and uh, 
just will be going through the whole process and it's be, it, it will be a pretty raw series uh, which which will be fun which i haven't done before which i'm just gonna film when i'm doing it so i'm really really looking forward to that and hopefully you can uh, uh, you will be able to see it here and hopefully you will like it if you if you if you want to see it just a thumbs up subscribe i have uh, i've been noticing that uh, half of my subscribe no more more than half of you aren't subscribed to the show what are you doing guys subscribe to the show best show on youtube uh, so do that if you want to uh, super secret seed series will be coming up uh, and then i said discord i was talking about the discord coming up and i've created a discord uh, currently it is called carl's creative community cult and i like that name it's cccc and uh, I don't know what we will do with the community, with the CCCC community, but uh, I've been creating it uh, and uh, I'm going to put a link down here in the des descriptions uh, for you to join. And uh, maybe you can write what you want to do there. Maybe we can do a session one uh, once a week, uh, sitting there and, and chatting for having some creative problems or just uh, doing feedback on each other's work and uh, stuff like that. I would really, really, really love that. Um, just write in the comments what you think we should do on the Discord. Uh, uh, I'm not a Discord pro. Maybe we can have some... Uh, uh, if someone wants to be a, a moderator or something to, to really put... put uh, uh, things uh, nicely in order there, as you say, uh, because I don't, uh, I don't have it under control. But it will be really fun. Join the channel, and we can chat there, and we can hopefully have a little talk, have a little chat, uh, whatever you guys want to do. But I'm really keen on that. Really looking forward to it. It's just starting. It will develop through time, uh, and we will build it up together. I'm so excited for that. So excited to. To, to be able to, to talk to you and uh, have some uh, creative uh, discussions there. So just join in, join in on that. And the new segment coming up right now. The question, the question of the week, weekly question. Uh, so I, uh, I'm not prepared as you know, or I, I'm a bit prepared, but not uh, super, super prepared. But I uh, uh, thank you, thank you very much for uh, for all the questions uh, that has been coming in. Uh, I'm really, really appreciative of that. I've saved everyone. I'm not going to be able to ask uh, answer everyone today, but I will be saving them and I will be answering a question every week. So to this week, for the first time, uh, I thought this uh, question uh, could come in hand now. It's from uh, Iso, uh, Iso Brudy thirty six seventeen. Uh, so it says like this. Could you talk about how the six-month mission came about and how you're supporting yourself while you're doing this? Would also be interesting in hearing about your relationship to architecture, as I'm also an architecture student turned art student. Okay, okay. There was two questions in one, but today I will be really nice and I will be answering them both. So let's start about the six-month period mission. Uh, I've set up that um, just for myself to have something to aim for. It's always fun with goals and stuff like that. But it all came down to that I uh, counted out that I, ha I had the money to survive doing my art and not having other un uh, a, a, a different income. Uh, so I can just focus on my art for six months, like full time. Uh, and then my money would run, run out. And it was also this... Um, this uh, you this thing set up for me so i could really because i love doing this i want to be an artist at full time i am a, am an artist at full time right now but uh, if i didn't make any money during this time this six month period i wouldn't um, i wouldn't be able to continue i would be able i, I, I would have to get a, a regular job or a side hustle or something like that uh, but I managed to get this, this sketch mission proposal and some exhibitions. So I'm getting some money in. Uh, so it, this six months period was uh, basically ec economically uh, uh, an economic thing, uh, a, a budget thing for me to... I, I knew I would survive just doing this for six months and then I would have to get a job. So it was basically it. But uh, now when this period is out, I have uh, earned some money 
uh, but not that much. Maybe maybe I have another three month uh, period coming up, and then the money is out. So it's all about it's uh, it uh, it's a lot about money, but uh, o- also for setting up goals and to be to be pushed by that uh, to to see where it can lead. But just to have some goals and some uh, try to move forward in some sort of way. Uh, so that was where the six month period came up, uh, and I. Uh, I've been only been doing this. I've uh, with some saved up money and some some money from scholarships and uh, things like that. Uh, and to the next question, what was it? Uh, it was about architecture. My relation to my rela- relationship to architecture. Uh, okay, my relation to architecture. It is uh, a little short one. I will be doing a longer one. People have been requesting that uh, 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 about my architecture background, but it's about. I went to architecture school in Copenhagen and it was really, really, really nice. The school was so nice. Uh, uh, you were allowed to be really experimental and the teachers were really pushing you to do to do crazy and fun stuff. And uh, the, I had a mo- motto to always do, do what I thought was fun. Uh, so I really experimented a lot and uh, I love to build models. Uh, and just having fun. I, I really loved the school. It was uh, such a good mixture of uh, uh, drawing and building and uh, going back and forth from uh, digital to analog and just moving around and you were running around, having all these nice people around you. Uh, so I, I was really having a good time there to school. Can really, really recommend it. I went to this master's program called Art and Architecture with, uh, where you where you worked in the borderland in, in between them. And, which was uh, really fun, uh, but my project m- was moving more to the art, uh, to the art perspective than to the to the art side and uh, to not to the architecture, which uh, maybe some of the teachers didn't enjoy that much, but I did enjoy it. So, uh, but then uh, I had I, I've had experience. I've been working at, uh, wa- I've been working one year, uh, a half year in Sweden and a half year in Copenhagen, uh, Denmark. Uh, both at a small office here in Sweden, and and uh, it was a uh, no a big office in Sweden, a lo- uh, and a small office in Copenhagen, uh, and uh, so I have both experience there from Sweden and Denmark, and a big and small office, uh, and I didn't really like it. I thought uh, uh, you weren't a. <laughs> Of course, it's going to be different at every architecture office, but my my uh, my sense of it all was that. Uh, I was so free in school, I was so free and I could do whatever I wanted to do and I just wanted to pursue that journey and uh, as an architecture office you they kind of clip your wings in some sort of way uh, but of course if you just keep going and uh, you, you can have a nice time there but I didn't want to do it and I, I really enjoy working in smaller scale and uh, that's, uh, that's so, sort of the so- short story but I have been uh, rambling on here for too long uh, sorry, sorry for that. So, uh, but that was the weekly question. Uh, just uh, drop more questions down in the comments because uh, this show will roll on, and I will be answering a lot of more questions, and I will hopefully be doing it more smoothly than I did this week. First time, first time's a, ch- uh, a, a charm, right? But uh, for now, let's go over to the segment. Let's go over to the update. Thank you so much for that, Carl. We are here, we are at the update and I will be running it through really quickly today so we can get on with the show because this guy over here has been talking way too long. Okay, let's go with it. Create every day. Yes, I have been creating every day. Some small steps gets you far. Uh, Followers on Instagram, the goal is 2000. We are at... 1871 so closing in on the goal there if you're seeing this and you're not following me on instagram and you have an instagram account and you're interested in seeing my my artwork my final pieces uh, which i put out a lot there then go ahead go ahead and follow follow me there just uh, just do it um, but don't feel any pressure i don't want to pressure anyone of course to do it but just if you want to see it if you want to see my work and if you want to help me achieve my goal here um, next one is followers on YouTube or subscribers. Uh, it uh, the f- goal was hundred, and right now I'm at three thousand and seven hundred and thirty. 
So thank you very much for that. Some new subscribers coming in. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. I'm so excited to have you here. I love you all. Love you all. Uh, but um, if you don't subscribe, do it. Do it and we can get higher. I will have a giveaway of a tie or maybe a couple of ties when I get to 5,000 followers or subscribers, as you say it here on YouTube. Next one, apply for competition, scholarship and grants and so on. Uh, the goal is 100 and right now 98. So closing up, closing up, which is really exciting. Post on Instagram twice a week. Uh, I've been doing that and the goal is 50 and right now I'm at 46. Uh, create these videos, we see you, weekly creative update videos. Uh, the goal is 25 right now at 22. So going forward, uh, be a part of uh, exhibitions right now two and the goal is five. Sell things for 15,000 Swedish crowns. Uh, right now I'm at uh, 5,300. Maybe I can get there, who knows, who knows, uh, we'll see. Release products, I've been making a bowl and the goal was six products and uh, it has uh, been taking a step back, so I, I'm at one there. Creative love letters, uh, you know, I wanna get up close, uh, close here and cozy, but I haven't even created a love letter this week. Uh, so we're, we're still at 29 there, so I really have to push it. I have 21 still to go there and only about 21 days left. So I will think I will, be, will be, have to do it every day. From now on, I will be pushing out those love letters uh, to, to the lovely creative people on Instagram, uh, which works I adore, which works that inspires me. And uh, hopefully I can spread some love. That's, uh, that's what it's all about. Uh, love is uh, all you need, as the Beatles once said. Good song, good song. Uh, but that was it for the update. Uh, now back to you, Carl! So we're back and thank you so much for that Carl. Lovely update, the numbers are going up. It's green, green arrows up to, through the roof and maybe into the sky and piercing the clouds. Who knows, who knows, I don't know, but uh, we will find out. Uh, and uh, it uh, does look uh, really good right now at least. But now let's say some wise word. Let's end on some wise word notes here. And what is it today? Everyone is asking, and I'm gonna be saying that now. One day, we will all be dead. One day, we will all be dead, and that's why you shouldn't care. You shouldn't care what other people think uh, so much. I, I've been having a hard time with that, uh, just growing up and being scared of doing things that I really enjoyed and really liked because I was I was scared about what, what people would think about me and, uh, oh, he's weird, he's this crazy, crazy guy and uh, not, um, not uh, the norm is to be like everybody else. The norm is to be to be what's, I don't know what to say, but like what society shapes you to be. And uh, as a kid and when you're younger, it's really hard to to be yourself. Uh, and it's such a cliche, just, just be yourself. But I think it's so, such an important thing. And I'm really try, trying to embrace that. And I'm really trying to do whatever I th feel like and whatever I want to do here in life. Uh, and especially with this YouTube channel and with my art and stuff like that, just to really like try to to channel that energy of uh, who I am and trying to do what I want to do. And we only have this time here <laughs> here on on Earth, and we only have we only have you only <laughs> live once, right, Jolo? Uh, no, but uh, for real, we we really have to. To, to stop caring about what people are thinking of us and really try to embrace our ourself and uh, to, to do what energizes us, what uh, puts us in a good mood, what we want to do, what we want to create, what we want to, to express. Uh, uh, and I'm not that good, maybe. Uh, my, my language is through, through form, through objects, to, to physical things, to paintings and, uh, and sculptures and stuff like that. That is how I communicate uh, in some sort of way, but also in, in this YouTube channel with words and stuff. But I, 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 think, um, I think that you really have to, 
to do what you like to and just stop caring. Uh, <laughs> I I I just keep talking because uh, and hopefully some of some of you are still here. Uh, but um, yeah, that was it. Stop caring. Live your life. Be free and do whatever you want to do. Don't be scared of people saying, "Oh, you cannot do that." Oh, what are you doing? Oh, that doesn't make sense. You cannot go off and and work as an artist. That is not uh, not the uh, sure outcome. Oh, you have uh, you have an education as an architect. You need to go and work as one. No, I don't have to do that because I don't want to. I want to be an artist and I want to be a YouTube host with my own show and with my own community. And that is why I do this. So guys, just a reminder, do whatever you like. One day we will all be dead. Uh, but hopefully it will not be today. It will not be tomorrow. It will be in the future. But Enjoy your time here on Earth. Uh, I'm signing out here. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm feeling sweaty. Maybe I am sweaty under this shirt. Maybe you can see. I will see it later when I edit this. But that is a good sign that I have been energized. I've been feeling the power. And I'm going to do what I like to do. I'm going to go and create art. I'm going to go and edit this video. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to be talking to you guys in the community. Uh, CCCC. Uh, Carl's Creative Community. I love you guys for being here. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm signing out and I'll see you in another video. Maybe next Sunday. Tune in then. Thank you so much. This might be the longest video for now. But thank, thank, thank you.